baptismal service, and we're so thankful for three men who have decided to, to go through the baptismal waters. And this is a big step for them. And I, I know that those of you who have been baptized recognize how big of a step it is, okay? So it's a very big step because it not, has nothing to do with their salvation. It has everything to do with their committing themselves to the Lord. But before we actually do the baptism, I want to take a few moments to bring us all on the same page. I do this for every baptismal service because I know there is some confusion with this thing called baptism. Let me first of all talk about what baptism is not, okay? Baptism is not a means to wash away original sin, okay? You say it's not? No, there's no sin being washed away in the water here, okay? Because there's no such thing as water that can wash away sin. There's a teaching in a mainline denomination that the reason why they baptize babies is to wash away their original sin. But there's nowhere in Scripture where baptism can wash away your sin. The only thing that can wash away your sin is the blood of Jesus Christ that he shed for you on the cross. And if you are thinking of baptism as a way to wash away your original sin, what does it make it? It makes it a good work. And the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. See, if baptism was something that saved you, it would just be another good work that you could add to your totem pole, so to speak. But that's the, and I told each one of these guys, baptism has nothing to do with your salvation. Baptism is not a requirement for your salvation. There are some denominations that teach it is. But the Bible is clear that it's not. And I think one of the most clear statements is found when Jesus issued it. Remember when Jesus was on the cross and he was hung between two thieves? Remember one thief was railing against him and accusing him and being just as nasty as the Roman soldiers were to him. But then there was one thief who actually believed Jesus, believed that Jesus was dying for his sin. What does the Bible say that Jesus said to him? I'll show you these verses. He said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Here's what Jesus said. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Now Jesus literally told this man, You are going to be in heaven today. Now if that man did not end up in heaven, what did that make Jesus? Made him not God, made him a liar, right? Do you believe that the thief on the cross that accepted Christ is in heaven right now? Absolutely I do. Why? Because Jesus said so. But hold on here. He believed with his heart that Jesus Christ was the only way to heaven, but he didn't have time to get baptized now, did he? Nobody put a pause on the crucifixion and said, excuse me, can you let this guy make a personal choice? It didn't happen. Yet Jesus 100% told that man, you will be in heaven without baptism. And listen, if one person gets to go there without baptism, we all get to go there without baptism. Baptism is not a requirement for salvation. So why do we do it then? Well, baptism is really a testimony thing. It really is an outward symbol of what has happened inwardly. You see, when we accepted Jesus Christ as Savior, we gave Jesus, uh, well, we let, him, let him, we let him forgive us of our sin, and we gave him our faith and trust on the inside, didn't we? We said, Lord, I'm really trusting you and you alone to go to heaven. I'm identifying with you inwardly. Baptism is a way for these guys to identify with Jesus on the outward. The Bible says in Romans chapter 6, verse 3, Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. What is baptism? It is you identifying with the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. By the way, only Jesus can use this symbol because Jesus is the only being to ever die and be buried and then rise again and keep on living. Yeah, Lazarus rose again, but he eventually died, right? And by the way, across the cultures and across different religions, they really don't mind a person accepting Jesus Christ as their Savior inwardly. It's when they take the next step of baptism. It's when they outwardly identify with the Lord that major problems happen in their situation. 
when they say with their life, I am deciding to publicly let you know that Jesus is my Lord and Savior, and I am publicly shouting that today. And that's exactly what these guys are doing. And these guys have several witnesses. You got several witnesses, guys, who are here. Several witnesses that are going to watch through Facebook, through YouTube, they'll watch. Several people that realize, wait here, I saw you go through the baptismal waters. I saw you say, I have decided to follow Jesus. I saw you say, I'm, I'm going to identify with the Lord. What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> not pressure. It's the first step of, I guess you could say, surrender. It's the first step of what this is talking about in Romans chapter 12 by, you know, making yourself a living, not a, death, not a dying sacrifice, a living sacrifice. In other words, you continue to live as you continue to identify with Jesus and what he's done. So with that being said, it's time for our baptismal service. And we have good technology here, so I can even put the names of the people on the screen behind them. Because you're probably wondering what their names are. Well, I'm glad that you're wondering. Now I'm here. So, and I'm going to wear a mask because we're going to be closer than six feet. And I don't know if you want to get your mask wet, but I will be wearing a mask, okay? All right. So, I got the mask on. And uh, we are very thankful that our new baptistry makes it so I don't have to get in the baptistry. No, I think I'll be okay with this. You think? I mean, yeah, I'll do the headset. And if I totally blow out the system, then, you, you know, you, you, can t you can fix it, right, Greg? <laughs> that's, that's the sound guy's job, isn't it? <laughs> all right. Well, the way we've actually determined to do this is alphabetically, all right? Usually when we just se uh, select the baptism order, we, uh, we let the ladies go first. But since we have no ladies being baptized, we got the guys going first. And so we go, fa go first by their last name. And De Carlo... Taylor, that means you're first. So come on up here, Taylor. And um, it's exciting. It's up to you. Up to you. You got to go through the stairs. Okay. <laughs> That's, what these are for? That's what the stairs are for. Okay. Folks, this is the very first time we've used this. So please pardon if there's any kind of bloop. Um, That's it. Wonderful. <laughs> so you guys get to see how it's done. It's exciting. All right, here we go. <laughs> Is it warm enough? No. no. <laughs> Sorry. It is 80.5. Come over here, and you're going to come sit right there on that seat right there. Facing Perfect. This way yeah, facing this way. Okay. All right. No cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not a nice bath. Note to self, maybe we'll have to get this up to 90 next time. <laughs> Wonderful. Here, I'll take this. Thank you. All right. All right. Well, Taylor, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior? Yes, I have. And you believe that he's the only way to go to heaven? Yes, I do. Wonderful. Well, the Bible says that it, it's commanded once believers uh, are saved, they are to be baptized. So with that being said, I baptize you, Taylor, my brother, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Ready? Put your hand on my hand. Buried in the likeness of his death. Yay! Raised to walk in newness of life. Praise the Lord. Amen. With a splash. <laughs> now you wonder why we have towels everywhere. Yeah. So just walk on that towel pathway and uh, go ahead and just walk. And if you have a towel, there we go. Perfect. Congratulations, Taylor. You are our first. So we lost a little water, but you didn't drown. So that's good. We're good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. Who's next? Nana Botang. Come on up here, Nana Botang. So this is Nana Botang. Awasu Darko. Really cool name, man. Really cool name. Nana is 18 years old, and uh, he comes to the Lord. And uh, you were saved in, when you were back in Ghana, correct? Yeah. Wonderful. And his family moved to the United States how long ago? Um, about two years. Two years ago. Okay, so 
Uh, he just never had an opportunity to be baptized in Ghana, so he's submitting to the Lord. So, so uh, Nana Boteng, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior? Yes. And all your faith and trust is in him alone? Yes. Okay. Well, that being said, look at this. COVID-19, totally different handkerchief, okay? <laughs> I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Buried in likeness of his death. Raised to walk in newness of life. Congratulations. If you want to head that way. And uh, wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Uh, there you go. Tala in the bag. Perfectly. Okay. Last but not least. I called you Quadro this morning. I feel really bad. He came in the door and I thought he was Quadro. Quadro is his older brother. But this is Nana Poku, and uh, this is uh, Nana Boteng's older brother, one of his older brothers. And uh, Nana, I think you're 20 years old, right? 20, 20 years old. And uh, he's studying, uh, what are you studying in college right now? Uh, engineer, mechanical it, engineering. It, uh, mechanical engineering. So he's got a good mind on it. He's got some, got some mechanical engineer graduates right there, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, good company here. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, um, it's a pleasure to be able to baptize you, and I'm sorry it's a little cold, yeah. but Nana Poco, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior? I have. have you, are you putting all your faith and trust in Him alone? Yeah, I do. Wonderful. Well, with that being said, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Buried in the likeness of His death, raised to walk in newness of life. God bless you. Congratulations. Thank you, brother. Amen. You head exit that way and uh, just follow that path. Hopefully, he, he, your brother has your towel. That would be good, right? Wonderful. So, you guys, you guys can go get changed and go get ready because I think we have some pictures. And uh, you want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, listen, that concludes our baptism service for the day. But let me just say that the men are going to get changed. And if you want some pictures with them, then we can do that. And um, we can do that afterwards. But we'll give them a few moments. We actually have baptismal certificates that we have prepared for them. And we put them in frames because they're valuable. These things are valuable, okay? This is very, very valuable. So, so let give them opportunity to get changed. So don't go too far because we want each one of you to uh, show them how excited you are that they are born again. You got it? Oh, that's cool, man. I'm so glad that bag caught some of the water. Yeah. The rest of it. That's why we have tons of towels. We're good. We're good. We prepared for this. We're prepared for this. All right. Well, listen, we are so thankful that you came and stuck around for their baptism service. And this is important. This is an important step. And you all became witnesses um, of, of Taylor and Nana Botang and Nana Poku. We all saw them be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. We all saw them identify with the Lord Jesus. We all saw that they have decided to follow Jesus, and we are witnesses, okay? And all you watching the service are witnesses, and we're so thankful we could do this. This is always one of the most exciting things a church gets to do, is help a new believer identify with the Lord through believer's baptism. And we're so thankful for those who gave, and I'll give a quick shout out to Gospelite Christian School and Gospelite Baptist Church in, uh, in, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, because their Christian school donated the money that allowed us to get and purchase the baptism. That's what we'll take. So we're so thankful to Gospelite Christian School and their sacrifice to be able to do this. God bless you.